Okay, yes, you're by me. You are by me. This is what I'm talking about, okay? This changed my life. So did you know that Blake, because Blake tweeted, he texted me about, he was like, man, you gotta hear this song by Craig Morgan. He's like, it's so beautiful. Will you help me tweet? And I was like, sure, I love him. Like, what's this song? And I wept. Like, it. did you know Blake was gonna tweet? Did you know no. he was gonna do all that? I didn't have a clue. Uh, in fact, Shelton. I had actually texted Blake that song right after I had recorded it. And I sent it to him and I didn't hear nothing. Like, he didn't say a word to me. And, Thought, you know, Blake lost a brother. I was going to uh, say, it so might, I, might have been a I little I thought maybe it was home. a little too close for home for him mm -hmm. to have a conversation with me about it. And then later on, like maybe a month later, I sent him another text, and he replied to me. It was a picture or something. He replied to me, not about the picture I'd sent him, but about the song. I knew this story. Everybody doesn't know the story of why this song was written. Can you tell so everybody So I lost my son in a drowning accident uh, three years ago. And I tell some of my friends, for them, that happened three years ago. For me, it was yesterday. And every day, it's yesterday. Uh, so 3.30 one morning, God woke me up and he wrote this. I was singing the chorus in my head and I did what I would usually do. I said, I'm going to lay down. I'll, I'll remember it and I'll do it in the morning. And something told me, you won't remember this. Get up. And I got up. I went downstairs and I started writing. I picked up a guitar and I started playing the melody that I felt like I'd heard in my head. And four hours later, I finished the song the way you hear it today. Wow. You know why? You needed it. Like, that's how yeah. I am as a songwriter. Like, as a songwriter, it's almost like it's therapeutic. It's like I need, I need the release of it. Yeah, people ask that all the time. Is it therapeutic? And I'm sure it probably is. For me, songwriting was always a, a means to an end. For uh, me, it's therapeutic. Yeah, it's extremely therapeutic. It's like talking about myself. It's very difficult, mm -hmm. but it's also a, a wonderful thing because uh, just like the song, you know, he's, he's not physically here, but he's still very present in our lives. Yeah. Uh, you know. So, so beautiful. Uh, have you seen Blake since the tweet? Have you all seen each other? No, time? we've talked a bunch. We've talked a lot since then, uh, yeah. in fact. Uh, you know, we, we shipped it out uh, and it went for, it's going to country radio now. So now yeah. country radio is looking for Well, it was number one planet. on iTunes on all the charts. Yeah. I noticed. Which is amazing. Yeah. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know why though? It's, yes, it is because Blake initially got people like to listen, but like it's the power of the song that is why it's so popular and why people are jumping on board because it's a powerful, powerful message that I feel like, yes, you went through a tragedy, but you also became the vessel for a lot of people's tragedy that are gonna relate to this song. It gives me confidence to know that even though I didn't wanna do this song, in fact, the first time I did it, I didn't finish it. I couldn't even finish the song and I apologized to the audience. You know, I said, I, I, I don't know that I'll ever do it. And the guys worked it up. We did it on the Grand Ole Opry and I walked, I barely got through it and I walked off and, and Ricky Skaggs was standing there and I told Ricky, I said, he said, I, that is a beautiful song. I said, well, I'm glad you got to hear it because I'll never do it again. Yeah. I said, I'll never be able to do that again. <clears throat> and he put his hands on my shoulders and he said, uh, he said, you have to sing this song. There are people that need to hear this. You have to do it. And so, I mean, I took it to heart, and here we are. <laughs> well, anyway. well, here's the thing. I was so moved by it. I wanted to surprise you, so I have someone here to see you. Come on out, Blake! <laughs> I was like, I was trying so hard. I was trying so hard to stop crying to get you out of here, but I couldn't. Get that part over with. Don't drag me in on that. I was like, oh God, I'm sorry. No, but what did the song, I know that you have had loss in your life. Like what did that song, like when you first heard it, what was your initial? You know, I think it's, it's easy to connect that song to anything that's happened in your own life, but because Craig's been a friend of mine for so long, yeah. and Gwen and I were actually at the funeral, yeah. and I, I didn't connect it to anything. To, all I could, it was his story, and it, and it hit me that hard just knowing him. Mm -hmm. It's a horrible tragedy. I can't even imagine, but man, you know, it's just such a great, great song. And, and he had sent it to me, <laughs> Probably a month before I reacted to it, right? <laughs> I'm a great friend, aren't I? <laughs> but when the kids are around, I have zero access to my phone. Like it's, yeah. and, and I even knew that there was a, 
an attachment yeah, yeah. there, but I, I couldn't get my phone back. It's and kind so, of like what Kelly did to me when I texted her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just, uh, you know. <laughs> you get so busy. And then, but I'm glad it did slow down. I'm glad it did slow down and you got a yeah. minute to do it. Because well, I did. He was texted powerful. me about something. He was uh, elk hunting or something. And, and I saw, I was like, oh, crap. I didn't even respond yeah. to the last one. And I heard, I was by myself at the house. And I lost my mind. I yeah. literally lost my mind. So it's such a... It's Great so moment. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's just beautiful. Are you going to sing it for us? Yes, ma'am. Oh. I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, Craig is going to perform this song when we come back, y'all. You don't want to miss it.